going on YouTube cotton 68 SPC channel guys tonight I'm coming at you with kind of a combination video I was tagged by bush hunt and I also want to do a shout out for bush hunt uh, we'll start out with a shout out first guys if y'all haven't went and checked out the bush hunt channel please go and do so he's an awesome guy and he has supported so many channels here on YouTube by doing artwork for their channels at a really really great deal like a, at a deal that you couldn't get anywhere else for the type of artwork that he does uh, and just based on that alone he deserves to have tens of thousands of subs because I can literally think of about 10 channels off the top of my head that I know he's helped and there's many many more than that and uh, he's just a really down-to-earth great guy uh, if you go over and check out his channel he's got guns knives EDC gear uh, just everything you see on a good uh, small channel community uh, gun channel uh, and I've talked to him over the phone and I've also talked to him over Google Hangouts and, and he's one of the type of people that I know we all say this a lot but you know, if he lived down the street, we'd be at each other's houses every night. He's just a great guy, and uh, you can tell that just from the way he carries himself. So go over and check out his channel. Uh, I don't care if you let him know I sent you or not. Just go over there and check out his channel and give him a sub. If you're in the need of artwork, by all means, go over, sub him, check out his channel. Look at some of the artwork he does. He just recently did a video of... Uh, all the channels that he helped and all the artwork and guys I'm telling you it's amazing what he does my Google Plus my Facebook my Twitter uh, my Instagram anything that has to do with cotton 6 6.8 SPC he did the artwork for and uh, you know it wasn't just doing the artwork one time he had to do it a couple different times for the different formats on all the uh, on all the sites and uh, you know if you went and had that done professionally it's crazy the amount of money that it would cost you to have that done now, trust me I looked into it. it it's nuts and what he did it for at a price of that I could afford it, it totally awesome totally awesome and he does that for everybody so go check out his channel if you need artwork even if you're not a gun channel you need artwork let him know he'd be more than happy to do it uh, he's been a little slow on getting videos out because he's been doing so much for everybody so uh, he's starting to get back into it though uh, I'm glad he got tagged in this uh, EDC uh, bonanza that's been going on to get him get him back into making videos for his own channels and not just everybody else's but guys I'm gonna leave a link down below please go check out Bush Hunt awesome guy and you won't regret it uh, and he tagged me for an EDC video so uh, Bush Hunt here we go in this front pocket here course always got the fox crown that I'll die with this knife in my pocket or in my hand uh, I love this knife actually I let my wife borrow this one time and uh, she had it for a good while but uh, ended up misplacing it one time when we were in a hurry and it was in, like hidden in a pocket of a uh, my daughter's cheerleading bag because we were at a football game and we didn't couldn't find it for a month and I about went nuts but I love this knife. Recommend everybody to get one. Also have in this pocket an e-cig. I always have that with me. Been uh, almost five years now but I haven't touched a regular cigarette. So these things do work people. Uh, let's see, sunglasses. I've got two pairs of Oakleys. Uh, these are the Antics. The other pair is a gas can, and I always have a pair of these on, or a pair of safety glasses from work. On this side pocket, this is pretty new, it just came in today. Uh, this is the Emerson designed CQC6 K. It's designed by Emer Emerson Design, built by Kershaw. Be a review of this coming up here pretty quick. But before I got this knife, usually in this other side uh, was a waved Endura. Also in this pocket, I always carry a spare mag to whatever gun I have on me. Uh, whether it be, even if it's a revolver, I have a speed loader. 
in this pocket. I always have extra ammunition in a mag or speed loader ready to go. Uh, back pockets, you know, I carry the basic, well, it's not really a wallet, it's a money clipping card holder. I carry that, that's with me every day. Uh, I've always got paracord, a paracord bracelet or a paracord lanyard. I've always got at least 10 feet of paracord on me at all times. Uh, and that's pretty much it, besides my phone, but I'm filming on it right now, but it's always in my pocket. Uh, then my gun changes, but uh, I just got this one, and this one's gonna be uh, pretty regular summertime EDC with it being so small. This is the Smith & Wesson Shield. Love this gun, it's in condition three right now. When I'm home at the house, you know, I kind of let my guard down. My daughter's running around and I've always got the gun by my side. And we got neighbor kids that come over and stuff and it's always on my side. So I don't keep one in the chamber. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's what, I hope you enjoyed it, Bush Hunt. That's uh, my ADC, nothing really spectacular, nothing like that. But uh, it is what I carry on me most every day. The gun, when I'm at work, I'm not allowed to carry one at work, so the gun's not on my side till I get off work. But anytime I'm not working, I do have a gun on my hip. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess it's time for me to tag some channels. And uh, who am I going to tag? Let's see. Hemp Seed Attic. Uh, I know you're probably going to be cussing me for this, but I'd really like to see your EDC, please could make me a video uh, mr. DJ Moore if you don't mind I'd like to see your uh, EDC as well and uh, mr. D will Hoyt brother if uh, you haven't been tagged yet which I, I can't remember if you have or if you haven't uh, if you ha if you have then don't worry about it but if you haven't uh, I'd like to see your EDC as well Guys, that's it. Hope you guys have had a great week, and I hope you're getting ready to have an awesome weekend. We'll talk at you later.